You know, more health care workers are now getting sick with COVID-19 than any other time during this pandemic. That's according to the new numbers just released from the Department of Public Health. The soaring infection rate only adding to the exhaustion that our nurses and doctors are feeling nearly two years now into fighting this pandemic. Well, tonight, a nurse tech is taking our Caitlin Ross behind the front lines to help understand what's really going on. The days start early for VA nurse tech Willis Hatfield Rivas. Um, I have to wake up at four in the morning just to get mentally and physically prepared to show up at 730. The retired Army Sergeant signed up to serve at the VA hospital in Decatur at the beginning of the pandemic. From the time we walk in um, to the time we leave, we're just exhausted. The work is draining, but Willis says it's worth it. He enrolled in the Army after 9-11 to serve his country. He joined health care workers during the pandemic to continue that mission. Not only am I taking care of patients, I'm taking care of veterans, my brothers, the brotherhood that we're living with. Willis says he's taking that dedication he learned on the battlefield straight to the hospital every day. And it takes a special type of mindset and a special type of heart. I'm a veteran. I have a warrior's mindset. And I'm willing to come in and get the mission done, but at the same time, I can't treat my patients like missions. You know, I have to treat them with care, be thoughtful and very kind. A new Duke University study shows healthcare workers' level of burnout is worsening as the pandemic wears on. That's coupled with a record number of hospital staff sidelined with Omicron, making the job even tougher for those who are healthy enough to show up. I have to make sure that I stay mentally, physically and spiritually fit at all times. I, I do not take this lightly at all. And I just really want us nurses to be appreciated because we're just really undervalued. He says pay raises and more health care scholarships could help bring needed help into the field in the long term. At the very least, this serviceman wishes people would acknowledge just how hard this is. I want to stay in the trenches. I want to stay in, on the front lines.